characters, faces, and answers of 1991. Large Simpson, who the hell are you? Everything else is child's play. Hello everyone, it's Josh and Neil, and today we're going to take a look at one of the many swap meet finds I have acquired. I run into a lot of things on my journey, but nobody usually gets to see them. So I just spent the past two hours digitizing it for you, so you'd better enjoy it. This is a Mattel Boys Toys catalog from 1991. You can find these catalogs floating around swap meets, toy fairs, and the internet all over the place. They're really fun and most of them are reasonably priced. I'd suggest picking one or two up if you ever find them in the wild. So let's take a look at what this one actually has in it. Alright, here's the index, the table of contents. It's got a really flashy intro, There's a lot of stuff going on. See over in the corner, this catalog is only going to have Hot Wheels, Killer Tomato, the He-Man Rebirth, I think this was the second one, The Simpsons, Power Glove, which is pretty cool, and sound effects, which I don't really know much about. Uh, the Killer Tomato logo looks like a clip art stand-in. Probably didn't have the full colored version. Let's go to the next page. So the whole thing starts off with Hot Wheels. Some uh, new models for the 90s, I'm guessing. We're racing into the 90s. And I guess 1991 is when they had their billionth car. This kid looks pretty excited. Half of the fun of these old magazines is looking at the fashion. All the kid model actors. So here's four diecast models. Next page is more Hot Wheels. Cat Blasters, you're not allowed to sell these anymore. I remember pop guns and all kinds of fun stuff. So these would have a launch. I, I've, I've handled one of these launchers before. They're extremely heavy because of the metal pieces that snap the caps. And I guess they had to put this uh, clear case over it to help um, redirect the sparks, I'm guessing. Probably a noise thing too. Like, oh, let's make it fun and loud, but then damper it. And... Okay, this, yeah, an exploding bridge. So you get the pop sound, and I'm guessing a popped bridge. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's triggered by the car. Blast bridge. Blast over, blast through. Cars have to beat the blast bridge. Blasts at the bridge and wall. Kids set cap detonator to make car explode out of launcher race over bridge and into a hairpin turn when they miss the turn cars hit the wall and break through okay this might be a fun one to demo someday and california customs i remember these so you had a normal wheel right here but then it came with a big tire that you would slip over the little tire making them a souped up version and the engine would pop up just a little bit more yeah so it was um like a teeter-totter 
Here's some more. Kind of looks similar. This line was pretty deep then. I think it only lasted one season, from what I remember. And here are some cool California custom cars. The Caddy. Corvette, Nomad. The Woody here is pretty cool. And I like their setup with the uh, that bent piece of metal it looks like that wraps around. That's a cool photograph. And here are some more cool California stunt sets. The wave one is pretty awesome. Came with some figures, surfboard, a woody. Yeah, it's gravity drop into a loop. As simple as this is, you would not be able to afford this at a they wouldn't they wouldn't make it for a reasonable price. Now that's a there's a lot of that's a complicated mold here on this life tower. Oh, and a double launcher, freeway frenzy. That's the palm trees, so you know it's uh, California. Which makes sense, because this was uh, El Segundo. Not El Segundo. Hawthorne? They're at El Segundo now, but they're at Hawthorne. They were at Hawthorne, I think. And the basics lineup. Speed Fleet. They're sleek, they're fast, they're Hot Wheels. This Speed Fleet is a 30 car collection of the hottest vehicles around. Some vehicles not for use with some sets. Let's just kind of look at them here. Uh, Stalker, Shadow Jet, Nissan, Firebird, Porsche, Camaro, Stalker, Purple Passion. I see a lot of these. Mercedes, a Golf, a GTI. I actually had this guy, VW Bug, with that red flame. Mini truck, GT racer, Solaire, Hotbird, Hero, Ferrari, XT. I hated this car. It was it never worked right. It was pretty stupid. I had the Banshee, Turbo Streak, Limousine, Mazda, Ferrari, Zenderfact, Speed Shark. This is really weird. I've never seen this one or the Chevy Lumina I will have to look up and see if those were actually made oh that's a cool photo cool. workhorses so this is your fire and rescue construction I think I had this guy with the plow Wow, I had this one for some weird reason. And the wheel loader. Okay, the classics are fun. I remember this tea bucket was one of my favorites. And the street beast. It's kind of weird. I like the dip here on these Bugatti Mercedes. Power Plower, Off-Road, got eight classic cars and seven rough and ready off-road vehicles. And the Army section, I think my cousin had a bunch of these. And I had the Speed Demons for sure. The Bat was one of my favorites. The, uh, the Green Dragon one, which I don't see here, was actually my favorite. 
I guess these are some gift packs, some five packs, which they they still sell the five pack uh, format. Oh, I had this guy too. Oh, that guy. All right. And this excited kid. The funny car and dragster gift set. Some more gift sets. Came in boxes like this. I remember these boxes. Just see. Oh, he's loving it. Okay, how does this one work? Radical race sets. Kid powered action. Gravity defying loops. Comes with two Hot Wheels cars. Oop. Hot Wheels Turbo Tube Raceway. The power filled pipeline to racing excitement. Cars blast through dual propulsion, tube, propul propulsion tubes, twist their way through. For gravity defying loops and speed around two hair raising curves. Kids supply the power. So are they slam launchers? Turbo tube supplies the non stop racing thrills. Includes two hot wheels cars. Okay. I can't tell what that is. And his hand is covering it. And his hand is covering it. This was a terrible honesty shot. Maybe they didn't know what it was yet, and that's why they're covering it. But I had that haircut. I'm going to look this up and uh, find out what that is. Okay, this one's more standard. Say, jump. What is this? Car land. Cars land in. Jump the cars or bust. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just catches them. Wow, and this got TV advertisement. I'm going to see if I can't find that commercial. It's got to be floating around here somewhere. And the G4 series. They made a few of these. I know that because I have one in box, and it was a uh, different colors than this. Oh, I wonder if it comes with those cars, those plastic dummies. Let's see. Uh, set includes clamp, 12 feet of track, one Hot Wheels vehicle, and loop. So it doesn't. So what are those exactly? So I'm guessing that they ended up taking those cars out because those are those are produced like in plastic. All right. Oh, the double barrel. Uh, there's another gravity drop set. Trap pack. I I don't know that they would be able to make that loop or that that crazy jump with uh, just gravity. Loops, one jump. Okay. Oh, and the Hot Wheels City. Oh, that helicopter. That's rough. <laughs> that airport dude. I love these uh, World of Overview shots. They're really cool. Now kids can combine individual city sets to recreate a bustling city. So we got a school, a police station, which are the same things. The school doesn't come with a lift. A uh, bank, hospital. Hospital is the same as the police station with the lift here. And a mini mart. That's cool. Burger stand. Cool. Oh, and they fold down 
into each other or into itself and uh, airport city race construction so these guys are all the same just different colors and different stickers I know Mattel was a whiz at uh, saving on tooling costs you'd have a lot of shared parts and you can see that in full force here Okay, these are a little bit bigger. Um, I've never actually, I never had these. Uh, Hot Wheels Ranch, Firefighter playset. That looks kind of cool. It's got fire and stuff. Um, this looks really awesome. A builder, like you make your own road. That is really cool. I'd like to see that again. Oh, and it's um, it's got TV advertising, so we could probably find a commercial for that. That would be cool. The uh, trains to go. I know these are really popular, along with the um, these sets here, and that had TV advertising too. I'll find those for you guys. The real railroad. To your child, the Hot Wheels Railroad Freight Yard set is real. It runs on imagination, not electricity. The Hot Wheels Railroad Freight Yard set. To your child, it's real. Even if you can, fold it up and put it away. And the Hot Wheels City Wash and Wax set. I think I had this. I might have actually had the Matchbox version, but I might have had this one. Uh, comes with a <laughs> give cars a professional wax shine. Includes wax applicator and buffing cloth. Water spray wash. That's funny. And this also had TV advertising. There's a lot of TV uh, stuff for these guys back then. And the incredible Bigfoot. That's uh, about it. Here in Germany. <laughs> oh, this set's funny. There's two Christmas lights lighting it. Some sand and some aquarium, aquarium stuff. Okay, here's some more Bigfoot stuff. I remember this type of toy, not this one specifically, but it had um, a gear shifter. Um, turned it to different settings. Two AA batteries. Okay, and here's another shot of the set. So the way that this crushed cars set worked was they gave you all these sheets of something like tin foil that had a car printed on it. You would put the car over this buck, well, the sheet over the buck, <clears throat> and then you would place this uh, shed down on top, which had a negative image of this buck. And as you pressed it down, it would mold the shape of the car and give you a, a hollow foil car like you see here something that Bigfoot could crush so it says it crushed cars over and over again so it was probably coated with plastic mold car bodies again and again yeah. so let's see there's the process right there place it over the buck and place that reverse image garage on top of it also had TV advertising Set for use only with Bigfoot Champions trucks. So uh, this was, yeah, this was the motorized version, which I don't think you're going to be getting much air, but you know, movie magic. Big wheels, big muscle. It's Bigfoot, the original monster. 
truck from Hot Wheels. Rip a big foot for the Crunch Arena. That brutal bone crunching power. Completely crunched. No problem. Fix crunch cars again and again. Wow, crunch them again. Power, action. It's Hot Wheels Big Foot Champions Crunch Arena. Batteries not included. All right, and this is my favorite in this catalog is the Killer Tomatoes. Uh, this um, this was modeled after the Saturday morning cartoon show, which I was obsessed with. I would wake up um, 6 a.m. I think it was on to watch it, and I would draw Killer Tomatoes like nonstop. I would draw my own. Um, really cool. It was based off of Attack of the Killer Tomatoes 2, the movie, um, which had a very young George Clooney and that guy from the Addams Family. The whole Killer Tomatoes series was, it's, it's a cinematic masterpiece. Um, as you can see from these characters, the look on her face just says it all. I just absolutely amazing photo. That is, that is awesome. Um, so yeah, this uh, Kachunk with Gangrene. This was the uh, Adams Family guy. Cobra Khan with Igor. Igor reminds me a lot of um, the guy from Rocky Horror Picture Show because I think uh, the mad scientist made him as a henchman. This dude was weird. Thin letter. Uh, he always uh, carried a parachute. This this kid, he's loving it. And I don't remember Chad. But you know, kid with the thing. All right, baseball bat. This Macho Mato is a powerful menace when he gets stewed. To Macho torments all American hero Chad Finletter who stands steady and ready to fight. So you squeeze them and their mouths open slightly bigger. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, figure assortment. News, flat, squish, squash. A red menace is gobbling the globe. Today, the city of San Zucchini. Tomorrow, the world. It's Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Gross out girls, monsterized mothers, rotocast tomatoes munch and chomp in an absurd path of dastardly destruction with every squeeze of their ferocious faces. Kids pit them against their human in a man disguised tomato. Fight to the fight to an end of the vine finish. Four unique killer tomatoes uh, with their own whole human figure based on Attack of the Killer Tomatoes Saturday morning cartoon show. Let's see, Saturday morning. So this is cool. And the logo. That's really, it's really nice artwork. And this was the uh, deluxe version on the, on the left side. Um, it gave you feet that you could attach to your tomatoes. Um, it was a uh, monster tomato assortment. More dribbling tomato juice, drooling devastation, and crime from the vine terror. These ferocious man-eating rotocast tomatoes are larger and even more monstrous than their tomato cohorts. Missing tomato link, phantom tomato, and tomato ultima, ultima, ult, ult tomato. Each have their own working feature and include a designated victim figure. So I don't think that the features made it into production. Um, I never had one of these. I only have the one. Um, I think I have the snake tomato on the. Yeah, I have this guy, and he just opens his mouth. Um, menacing looking. <clears throat> Menacing looking monster tomato. Kids use his articulated arm to grab and lift tomatoes, heroin, taro, bomb day. Squeeze him. Phantom tomato masks pops off in the bulging eyes. 
glare and scare into slimeball newcaster whitey witty witty whitey evil tomato of destruction with tongue that makes kids that kids make reach out and let me start over evil tomato of destruction with tongue that kids make reach out and pull police patrolman into his monster mouth for if you blue choose oh let's go back uh giant mamito giant zoltan with the forest ranger zoltan and mamito are even larger tomatoes also come with victim characters to chew on so i guess these are twice as large as the other ones Um, they don't look, that, uh, they're a little bit bigger, but not that much. Bah, biker Tomato, leader of the gang of five, who's big enough to chomp down on his righteous ranger, riveting roadhog, or any big building that gets in its way. A large mummified tomato with a withering sense of humor who likes to munch a fireman for lunch. Mamito also likes to eat cars or buildings in a single group. So that is it for the tomato line. Really cool. I think I might actually try to find uh, the missing tomato link or old tomato. If I had uh, more space and just a disposable income, I'd go deep and buy the whole line. But, you know, I'm happy with one. And here we are at the He-Man, the Space He-Man Rebirth. Um, up until this point, there hadn't been uh, He-Man since the 80s. Uh, they tried to relaunch him in the 90s. And I was never a He-Man kid. I know that there are plenty that are. Um, I wasn't allowed to uh, collect He-Man, so I just never got into it. And I got into the more weirder, obscure toy lines because my, you know, I was allowed to have those. So things like Muscle or Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or Food Fighters, um, especially Food Fighters, I loved. So uh, the Electronic Super Power Sword uh, makes eight sounds. So here, here he has the power here. Nice airbrushing in the back. Makes eight digital sounds. The sword grows when you pull on it. Ooh, and it gets brighter. So, <laughs> uh, some nice roleplay toys. And here we are with Skeletor's skeletal mask. Tat staff, skeletal staff. And the electronic power sword. So there's two ports. There's two He-Man swords and one Skeletor staff. The new He-Man power sword. Cool. It makes sounds. Skeletor. <laughs> the power sword makes eight action sounds. It lights up with power. You can be a hero. With the He-Man power sword. What does he do? I'm kind of interested in this. Six high-tech battle sounds. Futuristic sounds make skull eyes grow. Okay, so I thought maybe his teeth chattered. Because that's, that's what the image looks like. Futuristic sounds make skull's eyes glow red. Activate sound by moving staff through space. It's a closet. Uh, hinge jaw that moves up and down with every move. Okay, so it, um, it's like a gravity trigger draw jaw. Strange things can happen with the Skeletor skull Whoa. staff. Wicked sound! Time for your lesson! Skull 
more roleplay toys. Um, this is cool. The terror, these punching things are pretty cool. And it looks like we have a Balzuka on the right side. A bow blaster. So this looks a lot like Silverhawks. I'm not going to. Oh my! Again, that bowl cut. It's pretty good. Pretty good air cut. Kaboom! Motion activated wristbands make four power sound effects. And it's adjustable. Adjustable terror punch. Kablam! Kids battle Skeletor. Kaboom! Kids use four sonic powers to strike fear into the heart of the intergalactic foes. Okay, so this one makes motion, and that one doesn't make sounds. And the uh, Bolzuka here, Bow Blaster. Rapid fire action. Three safety foam balls. And here we get to the figures, which I think is what most of you are into. Thunder Punch He Man. Alright, so. Power punching action. Bigger and more muscular than ever. <laughs> um, there's the box. Just like seeing things in their original packaging. The most powerful man in the universe is bigger, stronger, and more muscular than ever. Fully articulated, kids twist his waist and re release to make him punch. Comes with detachable sword and shield for ages four years and over. So I wonder why none of these had TV, uh, TV spots. I will I look for these commercials to see if there was any um, 1990s era He-Man commercials because it would. Well, if it didn't have a cartoon, then yeah. Maybe yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Skeleton. Skeletor has Metalocalypse hair. Interesting. Battleblade Skeletor. Swinging action transformed by an atom smashing explosion. So it's cool seeing this styling. Even though I'm not like the, the biggest He-Man fan, I just like the, the toys. And here uh, we have Missile Armor Flip Shot, Spin Fist Hydron, Hook'em Flog, and Two Ta Hoof. This guy, what does he do? Missile Flipping Action, the Flipping Missiles. Missile armor flip shot. Rotary twist action takes enemies for a spin. Fires close range mini missiles for flip shot. Flip shot has a hydraulic hand. And take mutants for a spin. So there's a spinning claw. I don't know why he has a, a trident machine gun. <laughs> And then over here, these guys look ratchet. Arms and legs it's extend. Okay, so this guy grows. And uh, hook hurling. So let's see. Hook em flog. What does hook em flog do? Hook em flog action puts a snag in the Primean defense system. Kids insert hook into figure's hand, rotate arm backwards, then release to hurl a weapon. Okay, so it's spring action. And too tall is uh, makes himself bigger. So those are pretty cool. I like the the weird bad guys. They're just I mean, this. Look at that that face, man. Okay, and here's a oh bunch more guys um spin wit tuscador butthead quake artila staghorn it's 
Stagatar. Half giant, half horse. He's two toys in ones. Includes sword and shield. Terra Tread. Evil biotech robot. And vehicle rolls in three different positions. Upright, battle crawl, and low riding. Robotic arm holds laser weapon. Fold out seat carries a figure. Battle bird, robotic bird. Seats a figure, has pull out wings and claws that clutch and drop a bomb or figure. Head and neck swivel. Doom copter, skull face glows in the dark and menacing jaws. Jaw opens to grab and hold an enemy attacker. Overhead propeller shoots off to become a flying turbine weapon. So, some great uh, human toys here. Alright, so here's the Simpsons section. Eat my shorts, hump. So, the Simpsons figure assortment. Had TV advertising. Uh, master toy licensee, licensee for the Simpsons, which I didn't know, that's pretty cool is the one-stop shop for the best in Simpson products. These posable figures move at the neck, shoulders, waist, and hips. Each comes with its own accessory, a word balloon holder, and five interchangeable word balloons saying, sayings. Great for collecting and trading. There's even room on the back of each word balloon for kids to write their own favorite sayings from the show. So we have baseball, Bart. Uh, shorts. Ninja Bart. When Bart is feeling especially mischievous, he puts on his black ninja outfit. Now he's ready to make turtle soup of anyone who gets in his way. Comes with, comes with a hook and rope, so that's a nice little ninja turtle call out. Terror has a name, and it's Bartholomew J. Simpson. Defeats the purpose of dressing up like a ninja to disguise yourself. Go for it, dude. Daredevil Bart lives on the edge, has the bandages to prove it. His dreams to perform a hair raising stunts and live to tell about them. Comes with a skateboard. And here we have Basic Bart, which is Cowabunga Man. Cowabunga Man. So Ninja Turtles and Bart both. I didn't really realize it until seeing it riding right in front of me. So did they like the Ninja Turtles? Is it Ninja Turtles Simpsons or the Simpsons Ninja Turtles? Don't have a cow, man. The irreverent star of the Simpsons family. He's every kid's hero, every parent's nightmare. Bart comes with a skateboard accessory. That's funny, I, ha I got the um, Simpsons tech deck set that has the Bart logo on it. And here's Lisa just making sure that uh, mom knows what's going on. And I think I actually have this Bartman figure. I didn't know that it came with a uh, word bubble at one point. I just have the figure. It's all discolored in every, every single joint. Bart's heroic alter ego. Bartman avenges evil where he finds it. Whether it be in his school or living room, he comes with a detachable cape and slingshot. So, <clears throat> next page is even more. We got the Simpsons sofa and boob tube. Oh, you can change the uh, the pictures. Uh oh, that's a crusty. No, no. That's cool. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Calabunga man, oh brother. Everyone play nice. So here's what I, I didn't realize. That's what it looked like in package. Oh, okay. This here just explained to me what this was. It's a, it throws whoever's sitting on the couch over there off. Okay, we got uh, Homer. Animated proof that father doesn't always know what's best. Sure. Uh, America's favorite mom with her pearls of wisdom. I'd rather be bowling. And Lisa. And Maggie. I 
I like her word bubble. That makes sense. Every mother's dream child. Suck, suck, suck. Cool, man. And page three. Uh-oh. That's a crusty no-no. He's got a pie on his head and a club. Parts in the trash can. <laughs> Nelson the bully. Bart's arch nemesis, arch enemy. He's a pain, and that's what Bart feels. He's a pain, and that's what Bart feels when Nelson stuffs him upside down in his accessory trash can, which I don't see in the package here. Crusty the clown. What if you don't want him with a pie on his head? Aye, crazy car. The accessory assortment. This wacky family brings new meaning to household chores and activities. Each poseable character comes with five interchangeable word balloons, motorized accessory, and a lot of laughs for ages four and over. Sorry about the roses. Dude, stop. Whew. <clears throat> Loco mower. Polter grill. Oh, polter guy. Can you think of a better way to spend your bucks? Yes, I can. And I never collected any of the Simpsons stuff, so if you guys have memories of the nuclear gunk truck, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And I remember their car always having a hood. So, some artistic licenses were taken. Is that slime? <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting used to this new uh, way of presenting. Waste can dumps glow in the dark. Okay, so not slime. They're just glow in the dark. Because they're radioactive. I get it. All right. I'm putting the pieces together. Activate lever to make truck lift spring into action. Homer is the proud safety inspector. Homer's humorous freewheeling truck comes with a comic with a comic mutant creature and lots of glow in the dark waste. And here we have the crack up clunker. Dude. Ow, quit it. Cowabunga, Homer. Wrench activated wreck. Bumper activated bust up. An accident waiting to happen. Big enough to seat two figures in front and three in back. This cookie convertible is a real clunker. Homer promises his family a peaceful Sunday drive, but when the car rolls back, seat gives a bumpy ride and car makes clunky sounds. Kids use a wrench to turn a nut behind the radiator and hood blows up. The engine blows out the sides and blow the sides blow. Man. You get it. Hood blows up, the engine blows out, and the sides blow off. So there is a hood to this car, it's just not shown. Uh, breakdown mechanism also triggers when the car's front bumper runs into something. So this might actually be pretty cool to, to find and uh, unbox. It does, it does a lot. I kind of like the styling too. We have purple, uh, orange, and lime green. They're actually Nickelodeon type color palette. It's the Simpsons from Mattel. Don't have a cow. Simpsons figures, sofa, and boob tube sold separately, only from Mattel. I hey, and more Simpsons. We have the die-cast nuclear waste fan. And the family camper, which I don't ever remember, but I'll take their word for it. But this one's actually pretty cool. Or I think it it's... 
I'm really into movie accurate or cartoon accurate uh, stuff. And uh, is having a nuclear waste waste truck. Pretty cool. Uh, Hot Wheels vehicle assortment. Oh, I had TV advertising too. So these were a lot like the Scenit. These well, these are exactly the Scenit style cars. Uh, used to, I think it debuted with the uh, Marvel, like the Hulk and stuff. You would look in the the rear, and it projects an image through the front. <clears throat> I think they had He-Man ones as well. Uh, look inside, check out the view, man. And this one is, um, I don't even, I don't even know. Has soft head rest cushion. Uh, he's digging it. I'll take their word for it. Bart's rocking TV chair. Also on TV. Coolest seat in the house, man. The Simpsons stuff is um, one of, another one of those things that I wasn't allowed to watch, but I knew of the world, and I didn't it come from Herman's Head? Something like that. Another show I wasn't allowed to watch. It wasn't until much, like years, years later, that I would... Um, I was able to sneak in The Simpsons into my TV lexicon without having to hide it. So, all this uh, merchandise from 1991 totally escaped my uh, grasp. And here's the Power Glove. Power Glove Ball Game Pack. Is child's play. Power glove. Ball game. I've never actually, I've always seen the ball game, but I've never played it. I've never had a working power glove. I know that uh, I had a friend that bought a power glove, and um, before he got a chance to use it, his friend dog, his friend's dog ate it. So, missed out on that. And I've just never wanted to spend the money to buy a new one, to buy the game, and all the stuff. It, they can get expensive. Uh, Power Glove, revolutionary video game interface. The Power Glove creates challenges and provides players with a more interactive feeling. Programmable, programmable keypad lets them instantaneously configure the Power Glove to their favorite games. Only the Power Glove de delivers advantage, advanced action features not even possible with a joystick. With moves like one-shot turnaround and thrash mode, the Power Glove provides players with a shoot 'em up action like they've never had before. Comes in medium and large sizes for ages eight years and up. All right, so the the game pack, a revolutionary game for Nintendo Entertainment System that provides real hands-on actions with spectacular three-dimensional graphics. Players power their way through a maze of racquetball-like rooms by swatting a ball as they avoid aliens, trapdoors, and ever-increasing number of threats. Super Glove Ball plays on a regular controller, or players can experience the game's amazing dimensional effects as they were designed for the Power Glove. I think that they should have made this only for the Power Glove, so you had to buy it. That's cool. I remember the commercials. What was it was in that movie, The Wiz, or The Wizard, The Wizard, and the sound effects, which I, I don't remember. It, I think I vaguely remember the TV spot.
Laugh Tracks wristband, Combat Thumber, Thunder wristband, Sports Beat, Rock and Rap wristband, Speed of Sound, there's a Hot Wheels one, Just for Kicks, Ankle Band, Jammin' Musical Sounds. So what does this actually do? Motion activated sound effects kids wear. Four wristbands and two ankle bands that make realistic outrageous sounds with every move. These cool and crazy fashion statements come in wild colors with super hot graphics. Each is individually designed to th themes boys like best. Comedy, combat, sports, music, racing, and even off the wall humor. Which means farts. Kids of all ages will love making sounds like a revving motorcycle, applause, machine gun fire, or a wolf whistle at just the right moment. <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to do that now. I'm sure half of the stuff in this magazine you wouldn't be able to make now. There's too many feelings at risk. They just strap on quick release fabric fasteners, set band for one of the six sounds, adjust volume control, and make their moves. It's an awesome audio assortment that sounds like fun. Okay, um, well, I think that just about does it. Goodbye, kids. It's been fun. So smash that thumbs up button, subscribe. Tell me if you want me to do more catalog reviews. I've been collecting them. Um, they pop up different places. So I'm able to pick up, you know, here and there it's a lot of fun going through these page by page and and <clears throat> i usually look through them and just flip through them really quick and go oh that's cool oh, that's cool but taking the time here and going through each page um i don't know i it i get i get something out of it and i know that there's no one else you know around that's doing this i see some old guys uh with matchbox catalogs and corgi catalogs and i thought well what is uh that stuff's boring. Let's do some fun stuff. So let me know if you want to do more. I may do a few more, see how the views go, test things out. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Dr. Neil out.